All right, welcome back to the Sideline Report. Marvin Jackson here along with Barry Barnes. Mm -hmm. And uh, Barry, it looks like London had the guys pretty uh, hyped up there yeah, uh, before up. the game, the linebackers at least. And, uh, you know, we got to talk about the defense, yeah. uh, whether the Redskins should stay in that 3-4. And uh, we want to talk about the quarterback situation oh, yeah. too. Oh, yeah, get into that. But you were there in the locker room after that last game. Right. Uh, talk about what the feeling was there. Uh, it was, I would say, it was disappointment, you know, for number one. At the same time, they, you could look at some of those guys and say, man, if we just had a couple more games, we were just getting there to that point. And you could see some of the guys' faces, like, uh, you know, Andre Carter, who probably feels as though he probably won't be back, you know, next season. But they was, you know, pretty much withdrawn, glad that, you know, everything, you know, was over, you know, you know, for the whole point. But at the same time, I know they wish they had some more time, but only 16 games until next year. All right, and uh, any quarterback talk? I mean, I think the guys were pretty much staying away from that question about, yeah. you know, the quarterbacks. Right, right. Well, well, Grossman should come back next year because he do have some – well, he definitely knows the offense. You know, we, we saw it in the last three games that he started. So he do have a hands-on with, you know, this defense, I mean, with the, with the team. So I do see him coming back to at least, you know, mentor, you know, a, a, what, Jake Locker from Washington, who's projected to be picked up by the 10th pick uh, from the, by the Redskins. All right. Well, let's see what Rex Grossman had to say right. about coming back uh, next year. Okay. And I have extremely high expectations for myself. I can play, I feel like I can play at a, at a Pro Bowl level. And uh, I, I'm not sure if I, if I did that. But uh, there was times I felt like I was playing at a high level and, you know, made a few mistakes here and there. But um, for the most part, it was a tough situation to be put in. I feel like, <clears throat> you know, I did, I did an okay job. Uh, but I can play a lot better. Anytime you're... You know, you don't have a, another year on your contract, so this is it. Uh, it you know, we'll see what, what goes on. I'm not quite sure exactly what's going to happen. Um, curious and, and anxious to see what, what, what's going to happen. All right, Rex mm. Grossman. And uh, a little bit of uncertainty there yeah. to me in his voice, uh, the clearing of the throat a yeah. little bit. I mean, he, yeah. he doesn't seem very certain about coming back. He, he definitely sound defeated. And, yeah. and that's sad because mm -hmm. you have countless quarterbacks throughout the history of the NFL who couldn't cut it in the NFL. You know, let's be real. This man went to the Super Bowl with Chicago Bears. Nobody can come into the NFL, to an NFL team and just lead someone to the Super Bowl. So this counts for something. This man not a play in his league. He still will have a career here. If they will bring him back because he do understand his situation. He's, he do understand the offense here. So with him here, having a chance to mentor a younger quarterback, and if he do start off, you know, the season as the starting quarterback for the Redskins, that won't be so bad either because he'll have even more time in the system and certain things he probably didn't know now, he'll know then. But it's not bang on Rex Grossman. He is a he is an adequate quarterback in this league. And McNabb will not be back, right? No, he's going to Arizona. He's going to Arizona. <laughs> no, I'm not, that's not, I'm not, not saying Carolina, I know Carolina, not Minnesota, <laughs> not Minnesota. Arizona. Webb got that job in, you, in the Vikings. You've been, Webb is the man up yeah, there. Yeah, he, he got that job. Yeah. You know, they're not going to say it right now, but yeah. he, he got that job. <laughs> and congratulations to Coach Frazier yes, up there, too, yes, for yes. getting the head coaching right, job right. up there. But uh, the quarterback situation here, the only thing I can honestly say that it was to see Shanahan defend, you know, Grossman for this three yeah. turnover performance for yeah. the Giants, you know, trying right. to say what Mike Sellers went the wrong way. And, 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 and that's. Well, he, what he's defending is his decisions. Yeah, he, but. He but, always defends but, but his decisions. He didn't decisions. defend that now when he had his, you know, ups and downs, <laughs> you know, but. <laughs> but, but, but really, got, was McNabb really his decision to bring here? He says that that was his decision to bring McNabb here, but. Uh, the fact that he never really defended him, I don't know if he really was. I think that might have been a Snyder move. Right, especially when he said, uh, when Shanahan did say that it would take about two to three years to understand the system. Mm -hmm. You know, McNair wasn't <laughs> nowhere near a quarter of a year here. So, <laughs> so right. for him to have that time, so you know, you to be not, impatient, exactly. that's tough. Exactly. You know, but at the same time, you know, to defend, you know, um, Grossman for what he did, just be honest, he messed up, you know, here. And it's not always a quarterback fault, but in situations like that, from the ball that was 
was on him. Don't defend him. Just say that he made a mistake, you know, and just try to move forward. But don't don't try to cover it up. All right. So the coaches, none of them made mistakes this year, right? Oh, it was no. all the players. Right? Well, ma majority part, you can not say this year, okay, probably was the players. But next year, I don't know how the media is in Denver, but in Washington, D.C., the media here is tough. He will not have no excuse next year because, like I said, he already he was going to go out and get his groceries this off season. He going to draft his players. He going to get some free agents here. The players that he want to be able to run his system. Now going to next season, if things are still the same way how it is this season, which I don't think it will, but if it does, he's going to really be irritated with the questions that are going to come to him during his press conference. That's for sure. All right, who will the Redskins pick up in the draft? Well, right now he's from um, um, Locker. Locker. You know, Jay Locker from, from Washington, Washington State. You know, he's projected to be on be the tenth pick, and he's have a big arm. He's the type of you know quarterback that as he can he run. can run too. Yeah, yeah. And, and you need that because the mm -hmm. old line you're not going to build your old line in one year. But can that guy play as a rookie? Oh, look, so it's Grossman's there. job. Is <laughs> well, like maybe. I said, it, it, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to bring back Grossman so that mm -hmm. the young guy can, can learn, learn from him. the NFL mm -hmm. and also learn the system. Because the cause young quarterback got to learn two things, the NFL right. speed and that big playbook. But most of them pretty much had that experience through the pro-style type of offense in college. But he still has to learn two things, NFL and then the playbook. So we get nothing out of our first pick next year, only future. In the future, it's, it's still it, that's going to be a progress. But at the same time, if Rex Grossman is brought back with his, his knowledge and experience in the system, that will buy them some time. But at the same time, you want to have a type of quarterback back there that's a little mobile, which is something that um, Rex Grossman doesn't have because you want to buy the old line some time to be able to create you know, with your feet. And that's something that Locker can do. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. Oh, uh, who's going to win the playoffs, but oh, who's, playoffs? who's going all the way? Well, I, I, since, uh, since day one, I had the Ravens and the Saints. Ravens you know, and the at, Saints. The only thing about this playoffs this year is that that overtime rule. Okay. You know, that's a joke. Yeah. You know, it's not little league. It's not little. You know, little little kids on the field that. If you get an 18 yeah. point lead or 24 point lead, you got to take your stars up the field. Yeah. They only play defense. It's not college. Okay, you get a turn, you get a turn. It's professional football. You get out there and you stop that team. And why do you want to risk, you know, Tom Brady or Peyton Manning because the other team scores seven points? All right. Well, I tell you what, we're going to go into overtime uh, right. if we don't close out right, right now. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. So thanks a lot for joining us all Pleasure season. Not. Thank you and, so much. Um, I guess uh, also Donna Hopkins, huh? We oh, gotta yeah. Thank it's good. It's great I'm glad job. she came back. That's, that's my girl. I'm happy for her. Yeah. Donna Hopkins. Uh -huh. And uh, also, we got Eric, Mike, Phil, right. Jerry. Uh -huh. Those guys here Definitely. Uh, in the studio did right. a great job. Right. With along with, of here. course, our director, David Barnes. Oh, that's amazing. All right. <laughs>